Hello, praise the Lord. My name is Pastor Naboth Diffas, uh, working with the uh, Kingdom Glory Faith Ministries here in Uganda, and also a friend to Scripture Union, Eastern Region. I am going to uh, share with us about living in harmony, and our text today is got from the book of Proverbs, chapter 16, verse 7. It says, When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Well, I would like to pose a question to all of us today. Have you ever wondered why you get disturbed all the time and you need peace in your life? And answers seem not to be coming your way? Well, I would like to start with uh, what the Bible mentions in the text as ways of man. We are all certain that there are always many ways, but summed up as two or in two ways. There are so many ways of people. For example, we have got the way of the flesh that I've called the way of carnality. And then there is the way of the Spirit of God. Well, because man is made in God's image and has will, knowledge and abilities, he can decide to either conform to the flesh, which we have said carnality, or yield to the Spirit of God. Just like the Bible says in Genesis 1, 26 and so on, when we read the book of Genesis, generally we see how God gave man power, how he made him in his own image. We also look at the book of Psalms 8, 5, how man is made just like God. He was just made just lower, lower than the angels. Uh, note this. Man is made up of three components, of three uh, things. We all know that man is, uh, uh, is a body, this body that we have, which is like a tent. We have got the soul and we have the spirit. Now, the danger we have here is that the body is at war with the spirit. When we read the book of uh, Romans chapter 8, from verse 5 to 8, Maybe I would like to just briefly read there and then we, we look at what the Bible says. For those who according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who are according to the spirit, the things of the spirit. For the mind set on the flesh is death, but the mind set on the spirit is life and peace. Because the mind set on flesh is hostile towards God, for it does not subject itself to the law of God. For it is not even able to do so. You see what the Bible says about uh, about uh, our our body and uh, and our spirit. The, the Bible says the flesh. When we, someone gets into the flesh so much, when someone begins to accept whatever the flesh is telling him, which is actually displeasing to the Lord, you find that the spirit is always at war. The flesh begins to get into war with the Spirit of God. And yet, if we begin to submit our bodies to the Spirit, if we accept the Spirit to submit our flesh or bring our flesh to a level whereby the Spirit is able to do, uh, you know, to, to, to please the Lord, God is always pleased in us. Let's see what the Bible says here. Uh, and what, what we do in the Spirit greatly affects the soul. Well, when, when the Bible when the Bible mentions about war, uh, the war between the flesh and the spirit, you also need to understand one thing: that what you actually do in the spirit greatly affects the soul. That means that if you if you please the Lord, if the spirit does righteousness, holiness, you you actually benefit your soul. Now, when the spirit of God leads you, He will produce a fruit. Of course, fruit, we all know that we get it in Galatians chapter 5 from verse 22 to 23. When you become fruitful, be, uh, uh, fruitful, people will begin to enjoy living with you. So you would have wondered uh, sometime back, why am I actually not at peace with people? It's just because the, f the flesh is at war with the spirit. The flesh is actually being seen and producing wrong, wrong fruit. But when the Spirit of God is living inside you, when you allow the Spirit of God to, to live in you, that means that the Spirit of God is going to begin producing fruit. And people will come and begin to, 
to live around you. People will begin to enjoy the fruit that comes out of you. There will be something that is tangible that will attract even your enemies. When you be led by the Spirit, you begin to have the privileges of sonship. The Bible says that those who are led by the Spirit of God are actually sons. But the works of the flesh bring death. You, you've seen how, why actually we, we are not at peace, we are not at harmony. Why, why when we are not, uh, when our ways are not pleasing before the Lord, we have a lot of danger around us? It's because the flesh attracts death. Anything, anything that leads us to, 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 to death, of course, spiritual death and even physical death, the flesh attracts anything aggressive in our bodies, in our lives. And so when we begin to, 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 to please God, when we please God, that means that we begin to walk by the Spirit of the Lord. The Bible say, uh, says that they actually pleasing, walking by flesh, actually you are leading yourself to bring about death. Well, the flesh has all its associated evils that we all know, robbery, killing, among others. But however, with all these associated uh, uh, you know, effects of the flesh, remember, when you move by the flesh, when you walk by the flesh, you are actually leading yourself to death. Finally, one whose ways please the Lord, the Lord makes him wise. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7, the Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of, the wis of wisdom. The Lord makes you a blessed person, steadfast and prosperous in all that you do. Just as it's described in Psalms chapter 1, verse 1, the Bible says, Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, nor sit in the seat of mockers. And the Bible says that he's, he, you know, he establishes him by the rivers of living waters, and whatever he does, he prospers all the time. David says that the Lord prepares a table for him in the presence of his enemies. Yes, and so will the Lord do the same to, who, to that one whose ways please him. Amen. I would like to give the Lord glory and honor for, for all of you. And as I beseech you that from today onwards, let your ways begin to please the Lord so that the Lord will prosper you in all that you do. God bless you so much. Amen.